button and if you are a returning subscriber what's up girl we back with another one another pregnancy video i am nine months pregnant you guys i'm like 37 weeks 37 weeks and four days it's almost crunch time i wonder if i'm gonna go full term he has been like nestled up in here i don't think he's dropped yet and it's my first one and they do say you know with your first one you're bound to go past your due date hopefully it's not too far past i just don't want him to come on the exact date because that's my birthday <laughs> i need to have my own birthday he needs to have his own birthday so hopefully he comes a tiny bit before or a tiny bit after i am not trying to get induced so if the doctors do offer me to get induced I will be declining. All the induction stories I've heard, it just makes the process longer because they give you Pitocin and apparently Pitocin makes the contractions worse. Look, I'm not trying to go through all that, okay? So hopefully he comes in a timely manner. <laughs> but today's video will be a what's in my hospital bag. As you guys see, I do have three bags. This will be a baby boy's diaper bag. So I've got some stuff for baby in this one. This bag right here is my toiletry bag that I have all of my toiletries in. And this right here is my hospital bag, you guys. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's Steve Madden. We got it from TJ Maxx for $50. I was searching for like a cute bag on Amazon, Marshalls, and then my fiance was like, why don't you just go to TJ Maxx? And we found us a cute bag at TJ Maxx. I am obsessed with this bag. It's super spacious. I was able to fit a lot of my stuff in here. We'll go ahead and start off with this big bag here. So, let's go ahead and unzip it. There are a few things that I have not put in here yet. I do still have a few weeks left. Towards the end, I'll tell you guys the things that I don't have and that I am planning to put in here. But... Let's go ahead and begin, okay? When you first open my bag, I have this robe. This is from Target. It's just a simple black robe. This robe is by Stars Above, and I got it in a medium slash large because I want it to be a tiny bit oversized, and it's not super long, but it's long enough. I've been watching like other girls' videos, and they do say with a labor and delivery gown, it's like open in the back. So if you have to go walk around to, you know, get your labor going, then you don't just wanna have your back out and your stuff out in the back. So it's good to have a robe. So I did go ahead and pack me a robe. This robe is super soft, you guys. I will also have everything I mentioned tagged down below in my Amazon storefront. So for my pregnant mothers, if you are trying to find different ideas or different things to put in your hospital bag, hopefully this can help. Next, I do have some pajamas from the... Ooh, these aren't the pajamas, though. Actually, they are. These are the pajamas and the nursing bras. So, the pajamas I also got are from Stars Above as well. I got them from Target as well. I got this button up top so I can easily unbutton it to breastfeed and do, like, skin-to-skin -skin contact and everything. I'm so excited for my little baby! <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. So, yes. I got this, this pajama set. This is a shirt, a short sleeve shirt that has buttons in it. It is from Stars Above as well. And then it did come with some matching shorts, matching jawstring shorts, super soft, you guys. This material, this is the same material that the robe is made out of as well. I don't know what it is, but super, super, super soft. I know I'm gonna be comfortable. I know my baby's gonna be comfortable laying on me. Oh my goodness. I can't believe like it's really crunch time. Like I'm gonna really have to put this stuff to use. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness. Those were the pajamas. And I did get everything in black too because you know, it can be a bloody situation and I don't wanna see the blood. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Black is just, black is cool. I will be washing everything once I get home though just in case, you know, blood does get on it and everything. But yeah, black is the way to go, at least in my book. <laughs> so for the nursing bras, I did have three. The two are in here. Y'all, these nursing bras, I'm definitely gonna have these tagged. I tried one on 
oh my goodness, I'm mad I wasn't wearing these my entire pregnancy. <laughs> I just got them in the mail from Amazon and I did go ahead and wash everything as well because we want to make sure everything is clean for baby. I got a three pack in black. They did have like tan and white as well. But like I just told y'all, we sticking with the black, <laughs> okay? I tried it on and I love these bras, you guys. It keeps me in. I like how it has like the band at the bottom. It's not super tight, but it like, it fits just right, you guys. And then this is a nursing bra. You can like unsnap it and bring the boob out for baby, okay? And they're low key cute. Like, I feel like I'll be able to just wear this with like some leggings and I'll be fine. <laughs> I also did bring some slippers as well. I will be wearing my Crocs to the hospital. So easy to slip in and out of and easy to shower in as well. I have heard that you might wanna bring like your own flip flops for the shower and everything. I'm gonna just bring my Crocs. <laughs> Y'all, my Crocs have been with me through thick and thin, okay? So, Crocs it is. But I will be putting those on on the way to the hospital, so I didn't put them in my bag. But I did bring some comfortable slippers in case I do have to walk around the hospital. I did want to bring, like, some sliding ones, some ones I can easily just slip my feet into, but I will have my fiancé by my side. Thank you, Jesus. So, look, he gonna help me put these on <laughs> in case I can't bend down. Mm. If you watch my last vlog, <laughs> the video before this one, you know I just got this in the mail, you guys. This is a postpartum waistband. Yes, because yes, okay. As soon as the doctor tells me it's okay to wear this, I will be popping this on. Postpartum bands does help with the healing as well. It helps, you know, shift everything back into place. Of course, I won't have it on super tight that I'm like killing myself, okay? But just to keep everything intact, I really, okay, I'm looking forward to putting this on, <laughs> okay? I really am. For the outfits, I am bringing a pair of black sweatpants. Like I said, black everything, you guys. I got me a pair of black leggings, of course. I love these because they're not super tight, but they make me feel snug. And I feel like if I'm wearing like underwear and a pad and everything, I like to make sure everything stays in place. So, you know, like I like to have on tight bottoms just to keep everything in place. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I did bring a pair of black leggings. And then I did bring this black tank top as well. Even though I probably won't even wear this to be honest. I'll probably just be in my nursing bra and the button up pajama shirt the whole time. So yes, and then I also did bring this set as well. Again, I like stuff to hold me in and this is gonna hold me in. And then this is just like the matching top to it, okay? I did bring a pair of socks. I'm bringing two pairs of socks. I've heard they give you socks, but you know, I still wanna bring my own. <laughs> these are Sky Zone socks. I love these socks personally because one, they're super tight, and then two, they have those things at the bottom that help you, that prevent you from sliding and slipping and stuff. So yes. I am bringing a blanket as well because from what I've heard, the hospital blankets are like sheets and they are not comfortable. So I am bringing my own blanket and my own pillow, you guys. I'm bringing my boppy. This is gonna be to help me breastfeed and everything. But I am also bringing my big ass pregnancy pillow. Call me extra. <laughs> Call me extra if you want to, baby. But look, I am making my fiance or my mother because my mother and my fiance will be with me at the hospital. So one of them will have to bring this up. <laughs> because look, I'm not trying to be uncomfortable in that hospital bed. From what I've heard again, the hospital pillows are super thin and I don't want to be uncomfortable. So I am bringing everything that I think I will need to be comfortable, okay? And this pillow, this pillow is it, okay? This is a mom cozy pregnancy pillow. I've been had this in my Amazon storefront. So if you do wanna check this out, go ahead and check it out. But I'm bringing my pregnancy pillow. <laughs> okay, call me extra y'all, but <laughs> look, your girl trying to be comfortable, okay? 
I am also bringing this towel and I do have some washcloths in my toiletry bag as well. Like I said, I've been watching videos and I've heard them say that like the hospital towels and stuff are really scratchy. So you might wanna bring your own towel. So <laughs> I'm gonna bring my own towel for sure. So I'm bringing a towel. And then I do have some underwear in here as well. I'm bringing four pairs of like bigger underwear so the pad can fit and you know, everything can fit nicely. The one thing I do wanna, well no, cause I have them in here. I was gonna say, I was gonna buy like a pack of mesh undies, but I got this postpartum kit from Target for $50, you guys. Oops, that's okay. <laughs> I got this postpartum kit from Target for $50. This has disposable postpartum underwear. It has four pairs of them. And then this also has instant ice maxi pads, perineal cooling pad liners, perineal healing foam, and a toilet top storage caddy. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. They have another one that's like 100 bucks and that comes with like a hospital gown and a few other things, but this has the essentials in it for sure. Everything that I'm gonna need to help, to help her heal and help her feel better <laughs> is in this box right here, okay? I haven't even used it yet, but I know I'm going to love this cause Lord Jesus. <laughs> I haven't even went through it yet, but it's just like, I know it's coming. That's all that was in this main bag. This little pouch thing also came with this bag as well, which I love, cause I don't wanna have to bring my full on purse. So I like this pouch that I can just strap onto my hospital bag. And what I put in here, I have both of my insurance cards in here. I have my state ID in case they ask. I also do have my oil absorbing sheets because you guys, I have super oily skin. I just love to keep these on me to be honest. <laughs> I could just be a grease ball. So I love to keep these just to, you know, make sure I'm always straight. And I do plan on taking pictures after I give birth. So I don't wanna have like a greasy face, okay? So we gotta have them on deck. I'm also bringing my AirPods as well, just to help me, you know, stay, not stay focused, but just stay calm even though I know I probably will not be calm whatsoever. <laughs> just to bring me some peace, to block out the noise, to really, cause I am gonna try to go natural, y'all. So I'm gonna need to, you know, be in the right headspace. So I wanna make sure that I can get my head right with some music. Of course, I also have some chapstick and some lip gloss, okay? my usual and this is just gonna strap right on to this like how it was yeah i love this little steve madden bag okay this was a steal from tj maxx so now moving on to my toiletry bag i did get this bag off of amazon i will have that linked below as well i wanted like a toiletry bag that stands up so i can easily like unzip it and then i like this because it also has a hanger so you can like hang it up in the bathroom and you know, have all your stuff. Woo! The way I just saved that. Oh no, something had to fall out. Okay. So of course I am bringing pads, um, thickums, <laughs> thick pads y'all for sure. Because like they say, you do bleed a lot after labor. So I just wanna make sure, you know, I'm stacked up on some pads. I don't know if the hospital gives you some, but I mean, I would assume they would. I wonder if they give you pads or like the mesh underwear. I don't know, but yeah. I've got the mesh underwear in my postpartum kit and then I've got the pads in my little toiletry bag. So I'm also bringing my prenatals as well because you know, after you give birth, if you do plan to breastfeed and everything, you should still be taking your prenatals. So got those on deck. Of course I have my deodorant in here as well and some lotion, okay, to make sure I'm not ashy. <laughs> and I am also bringing my Queen Helene Shea Butter, or is this Shea Butter? Cocoa Butter Face and Body Cream. If you're no stranger to my channel, you know I've been using this to prevent stretch marks. Like, legit, you guys, this has been my holy grail product. And I, I do also plan on using this on my nipples as well 
to prevent them from cracking and everything when I do start to breastfeed. So I feel like if this works to prevent stretch marks and everything, I feel like it'll do pretty well on my nipples as well. I live by this product, you guys. I really love this. <laughs> so yeah. I also have a Perry bottle. I haven't took it out just for sanitary reasons, but we can like pop it up, I guess. Y'all know what a Perry bottle looks like. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Perry bottle in here to, you know, clean my hoo-ha after I give birth. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm really gonna have to give birth, y'all. And then of course, I do have some soap as well. I'm just bringing the Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. It's a gentle cleanser, especially when cleansing down there too. I'll be good with this. And then in the side pockets, I do have some washcloths. I've got one over here, and then I also have a washcloth in this side as well. One for my body and one for my face. And like they say, like they, they do provide you with washcloths and stuff, but like I said, I hear they're, they're like really scratchy and not that good of material. So I wanna go ahead and bring my own. And then of course I have my toothbrush. I really don't plan on wearing makeup. The only thing that I plan on doing is filling in my eyebrows, just cause you know, I feel like if my eyebrows are filled in, like it's better. I do plan on having on lashes as well. So I'ma just have my lashes done and my eyebrows filled in and that's it. I really don't want any face makeup just because I'm gonna be all over my baby, all in his face and everything. And I don't wanna get makeup on him, so. And then I also do have a comb for, I am getting braids um, before I go into labor. But there's like this method, I guess it's like a, not like a pain transferring thing, but I was on the phone with my aunt and she said like for pain management, it helps if you like, if you squeeze a comb, like every time a contraction comes on, if you squeeze a comb, it like transmits the pain into your hand and it helps like manage the pain from the contractions. My aunt said it works for her, so look, I'm gonna be trying any and everything because like I said, I am planning on going natural. So I want all the pain management techniques, okay? I don't know if I said, have I shown y'all? It fell on the floor and I think I just put it right here, but yeah, I am bringing toothpaste of course as well. Before we go into a baby boy's bag, I do wanna say I will also be bringing my phone charger. And instead of like going out to buy like an extra long phone charger, I am bringing an extension cord, okay? We have an extension cord, so I will be bringing the extension cord and my laptop charger, because I do plan on bringing my laptop too, just in case, you know, maybe I shouldn't though. I'm thinking like for entertainment in case, you know, things go longer than expected, but I mean, I will have my phone. So yeah, so I'm gonna just bring a charger for my fiance, for myself, and an extension cord. I do prefer an extension cord too because it has more than one outlet on it. So my fiance and I can both, you know, use it at the same time. So it's not just like one extra long charger that we have to share. I do plan on bringing snacks as well, but I'm pretty sure my fiance and I might stop somewhere like on the way to the hospital to get snacks because once you're like admitted in, they don't let you eat until like after you give birth. And look, <laughs> I know we'll probably like stop to get some food just because I don't wanna be starving. Like I don't know how long my labor is gonna take and I don't wanna be in that hospital room starving, you guys. So <laughs> yeah. I also plan on bringing my tripod as well. Like just like my small one, um, cause I do plan on vlogging my labor and delivery. So if you do want to see that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and stay tuned you guys, cause it's coming pretty soon. Okay. And I'm going to bring my extra battery, make sure my batteries are charged up. Okay. So we can get all the footage. Okay. I'm so excited to film it like, <laughs> and just watch it back over again. Like once I have him or like years from now. I really like to document things, to look back on it and just like remember those times and just, you know, reminisce and stuff. So I definitely will be vlogging the labor and delivery. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure my fiance 
you know, is getting them angles and knows what he's doing with the camera so he can vlog it as well. So for baby's bag, this will be our son's diaper bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. I really only have things in this back compartment. I love this bag because this is actually like a diaper bag. It's not just like a backpack. It's actually a diaper bag. It came with like a changing pad and everything. We did get this off of Amazon. I will have it linked down below as well. I love this bag because it has so many different compartments, you guys. It has this front zipper right here, like this front pocket. And then if you open this one up, this is like for the bottles and stuff, it has three little holders for some bottles. It also has this pocket up here. That's deep and we can put stuff in as well. It's got this front pocket. Like this just has a lot of pockets, you guys. <laughs> this pocket is where I plan like to put the folder or put all the papers and everything that the nurses and doctors give us regarding baby. Because I do hear that like you're supposed to get a lot of paperwork as well. So yeah. His bag is pretty much empty, basically, to stash everything that, that we're going to have to take from the hospital. Because they say to take everything from the hospital. Like, your insurance pays for it. So, take the milk, take the diapers, take everything they give you for the baby. <laughs> so, that's why his bag will pretty much be empty. So, we can take all of his stuff home with us. This back pocket is just where I have everything that I'm bringing for him. So... I have this swaddle. This is a swaddle me. I have this swaddle for him. Even though I know they do swaddle him like in the blankets and stuff there. But you know, just so he can have options, okay? I do have a burp cloth as well to help when I'm breastfeeding and feeding him just to make sure, you know, I need to bring some bibs too, but we're actually waiting on the bibs in the mail, but a bib will be in here as well, okay? So yeah, burp cloth, bibs, and then I have these onesies, or I don't even know if these would be, ooh, wow. My laptop just fell, you guys, hold on. <laughs> Back to these. I don't know if these are really like onesies or if they're more, let me just show them to you. So these are like onesies, but they're open at the bottom. So we can easily get to his diaper and change him without having to completely undress him. Um, so I'm, I'm bringing two of these and I love these because they also have like the fold over mittens. They have like the pocket so you just fold it over and put it over his hand so he's not scratching up his face. Apparently baby nails are super sharp. So I don't want him scratching up his face. <laughs> So yeah, I'm bringing this one. And then this is my favorite one. I just love this. It's so cute. It's the same exact thing. It's got the mittens on the sleeve and then it's also open at the bottom as well. This one is just so much more softer and I love the material of this one better than I do this one. But I'm bringing both in case, you know, he spits up on one or he does a blowout on one. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Gotta have options. I am also bringing just some regular gloves as well. These are adjustable. Oh, I hate how it's so light, you guys. I'm sorry. So these are gloves as well, and these are adjustable gloves. So we can put his hand in there and, and tighten it up to make sure, you know, his hand can't get out and scratch himself up. So I am bringing just one pair of the adjustable gloves. This will be his going home outfit, okay? Yes! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. Like, we're gonna take a baby home. But <laughs> that's crazy. So this is his going home outfit, you guys. So this will be the shirt he'll be wearing. With the elephants and the lions and stuff. And then just some regular gray sweatpants on top of that. I think these are so cute. Like, look at the baby sweatpants, y'all. And then we got the socks to match. The socks have like a face on them that matches the shirt. So that will be his going home outfit. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I cannot wait to put this on him because like I know that will be taking him home. Oh my goodness, that's so crazy. <laughs> So yeah, that's his going home outfit. As you can see, I'm pretty ex excited about his going home outfit, okay? 
And then in here we also have the portable changing mat that this bag came with. Okay. And then I also put the car mirror in here as well. We'll probably have this installed like before I go in to labor um, in my fiance's car already. So yeah, this is just a car mirror so we can see him or so my fiance can see him on the way home because I'll be riding in the back seat with him, of course. Of course. <laughs> so yeah, this is just like a car, a car mirror. And then the last thing I put in here is this blanket that will be going over his car seat okay this will be the blanket that we're putting over his car seat because honestly i don't know if it'll be cold the day that we take him home but just so no cold air is blowing in his face or anything we got this nice blanket to just throw over his car seat so he's nice and protected my baby gotta be protected okay is that everything yes one more thing you guys i am gonna write out a birth plan um just so i can have you know an idea of how i want my birth to go of course it may not go according to plan you know what i'm saying but i still want to have a birth plan like i don't want to get pitocin <laughs> like i've heard that they will give you pitocin and not even let you know i will be making like a whole separate video of what's going to be on my birth plan and how to make a birth plan because Honestly, a birth plan was something I wasn't going to do, but then I was on the phone with my aunt and she told me like, you need to have one. <laughs> like it's best to have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and write up a birth plan just so I can have a general idea to be honest. So yes, that'll be a whole separate video if you wanna know how to write a birth plan or if you don't think you should have one, you definitely should. So we can do that together. So I went ahead and packed everything back up. And one thing I did forget to take out of this bag is the binky clip. I am bringing a binky clip as well, just to clip on him, just so his binky, you know, isn't falling out and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> that's about it. If I look super bright, I'm so sorry, y'all. It's getting like darker outside and I've been trying to like hurry up with this video before the sun went down. But the sun is down, girl. But <laughs> yeah, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, you guys.